Hi, I hope you have nice days today. Today, I will tell you about a character from Yasuke anime that call, Daimyo. Daimyo is the main antagonist in Yasuke. Masako Hojo is the Hojo Daimyo, also known as the Dark Lord. She took control over Japan and had reigned for over 20 years. The Daimyo is an elderly woman with long white hair and dark skin. She is skinny with long arms and legs and is usually bound in her web at Azuchi Castle. The Daimyo is hungry for power and fear the deaf. As she had lived for centuries, she is ready to do anything to extend her life or become more powerful. She doesn't care about her men or any human life and would easily kill or sacrifice anyone. The Daimyo attacks Hanoji Temple, leading the Dark Army and defeats Nobunaga Oda, taking over Japan. Years later, the Daimyo feels a power had risen. She summons Kurosaka informs her that she has been feasting on the land for a long time and now it had become her prison. But as the world seeks balance, a power capable of opposing her had appeared and orders Kurosaka to find that power and bring it to her. Daimyo then gives Kurosaka more power. Kurosaka later returns without Saki, wanting more power, but the Daimyo extracts her power and gives it to Mitsuhide. Mitsuhide leads an army against Yasuke and Morisuki, and the Daimyo uses him as conduit to try and enter Saki's mind. She tries to absorb Saki in the astral plane and take her power for herself, but with guidance from Morisuki, Saki managed to control her power and make the Daimyo retreat. While a second army attacks Morisuki's temple, Yasuke and Saki run and head towards the Azuchi castle to fight the Daimyo. The Daimyo uses her magic on Yasuke, causing him to hallucinate and think that she is Nobunaga Oda Yasuke's master and Saki is the Daimyo and he must kill her. She turns her army into a giant monster and attacks the temple, but Akoji using his shaman ability attempts to stop it. Yasuke eventually breaks free from her magic and the Daimyo faces both of them in a large monster form. Yasuke and Saki combine their powers, but the Daimyo overpowers them. She kills Yasuke and starts absorbing Saki, however, Saki ends up awakening her full power and easily defeats her. Saki brings Yasuke back to life and states she no longer feels ill. The weak Daimyo tells her that won't last for long assumes she will want more and more and will need the whole world to sustain her. But Saki states she isn't like her and she is friends. The Daimyo asks Yasuke to finish her off, but he states the people will decide her fate and leaves the castle. The daimyo had lived for centuries, and as she feeds on the land, she had merged with the Azuchi castle, which also became her prison. She possesses extremely strong magical abilities, being surpassed only by Saki in power. The daimyo has the ability to transform herself into a giant six-legged monster with astounding physical strength, being able to easily overwhelm both Saki and Yasuke. The daimyo can also transform others, as though she has enhanced often display characteristics like tall and muscular builds, easily towering over Yasuke himself. The daimyo is able to manipulate and project herself onto the astral plane, a place between life and death. Having spent a long amount of time trapped in the astral plane, the daimyo is aware of many tricks and abilities that can be preformed in the astral plane such as void creation, telepathic communication, pain inducement, and magic leeching. The daimyo has shown the ability to enhance others through the use of her magic, thus granting them several varying abilities. Among these abilities include superhuman strength and characteristics, the ability to craft weapons on the fly straight from user's own mouse in the case of Kurosaka, or the ability to enhance one's weapon with energy in the case of both Kurosaka and Mitsuhide, so has the ability to take their abilities from them, resulting in them rapidly aging and likely dying. The daimyo can also extend her magical reach through those she enhances, as revealed by Morisuki when he states that the daimyo was using Mitsuhide as an avatar to get closer to Saki so she could contact and leech on her magic through the astral plane. The daimyo is also capable of creating illusions and hallucinations. This was displayed on Yasuke when the daimyo snuck up on him from behind and released a breath of magic which was then inadvertently inhaled by Yasuke, making him believe he was speaking with Nobunaga, despite him really speaking to the daimyo, tricking him into believing he was commanded to kill the daimyo, when in reality he was attacking Saki. The daimyo possesses the ability to control and create webbing. She has used this ability to entrap herself and the Azuchi castle in her webbing. She has the capability to telepathically control each string of her webbing, also allowing her to feel and see through them. She has also used her webbing to transport her body within the Azuchi castle, making her way to Yasuke's location in order to allow her illusions to take effect. The daimyo is capable of firing powerful blasts of purple energy as displayed in her battle against a Yasuke, enhanced by Saki's magic. The daimyo has also been shown to cause this energy to flow through her own webbing, creating a force field-like barrier to serve as an arena for her battle against Yasuke and Saki. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like for more. Stay safe, take care, wear mask.